Hi, and welcome to Uncle Scott's Kitchen. You know, recently I've done several videos on carbon steel pans. And some of the feedback I get after every one of those videos is someone will ask the question, well, how do you clean your pans? It's easy. I just take the pan and pop it in the dishwasher. Okay, we're going to answer that question the right way today. I'm going to show you the equipment I use and the method I use to clean my pans really well, but also efficiently and to maintain that non-stick seasoning that we work so hard to develop. Now before we get started, I just wanted to let everybody know that we had kind of a tough morning around here today. It's one of those days in a marriage that you kind of dread. It's one of those days that you fear might come, but you hope it never does. My wife came to me and said, Scott, I just want you to know, you look like an ostrich. An ostrich. Can you believe it? I mean, I just don't see it. So I went in for my annual shearing. Got rid of the hair, got rid of the beard. Came back and said, honey, what do you think now? She took a good look and said, didn't you used to have a chin? Okay, I'm going to start with the final step first, because regardless of the method I choose to clean my pan, the final step is the same no matter what. It doesn't really matter which brand of carbon steel pan you have. The care and maintenance instructions are very similar across all manufacturers. They say that you can wash the pan out with hot water, and once it's clean, wipe it dry, and put it on a hot burner to evaporate off any remaining moisture. Then they say to further add a light coating of oil to protect the finish of the pan. Here's where I was making a big mistake and kind of screwing up the seasoning on my pan. Nobody tells you when to add that light coating of oil. And what I was doing wrong was getting my pan hot on the burner, evaporating the moisture off. And while the pan was still hot, I was adding that light coating of oil. I'd come back a half hour later after the pan had cooled down run my fingers across it and it would be sticky. Now I knew I had seasoned my pan correctly and I just couldn't figure out what I was doing to screw it up. The problem was I was adding oil to a hot pan, but a pan that was not so hot that it was up above the oil smoking point. What I was inadvertently doing was adding a gunky, sticky layer of poor seasoning on top of my good layer of seasoning. So the fix for this problem is simple. When you're drying your pan on your burner, take a look at the finish, take a look at the seasoning. If it doesn't need any touching up and you're happy with it, just turn the burner off, set the pan aside, let it cool, and then add your protective layer of oil. Easy enough. Now at this point, what I'll often do is what I call a daily maintenance or touch-up seasoning. While the pan is on the burner, I'll add my oil, wipe it around really thin, put on a thin coat, just like you're gonna do if you're gonna season the pan in the oven. And I'll let the pan continue to heat until the oil starts to smoke. Once the pan has gotten to the oil smoking point, I'll let it smoke for a minute or so, maybe two minutes. And then I'll turn the burner off and let the pan cool. This is what I call a touch-up seasoning. I find that this little bit of ongoing maintenance really keeps my seasoning touched up and working well. Okay, so now let's talk about cleaning up messes. We'll start with the light mess first. This is usually what's in the pan after I cook eggs, either an omelet or fried eggs. I use butter to cook the eggs. They slide around, they slide right out. Then I just rinse the pan under hot water. Make sure you use hot water, else you can shock and warp your pan if you use cold. Wipe it out really well with a paper towel or sponge wipe it dry with more paper towels, and then it's ready to go on the burner and dry like we showed earlier in the video. Easy. Now since I started to use carbon steel pans, I've noticed that my paper towel usage is just through the roof. So what I did is started buying in bulk at Costco. My wife says we don't have enough storage, but I think we're just fine. <laughs> Next up is a medium mess, where there's some sticky bits that won't wipe out, but nothing terrible. While the pan is still hot and still on the burner, pour in some hot water and take a flat-sided spoon or scraper and just scrape off all those sticky bits. They should come right up. 
So once you've deglazed with hot water and scraped it with your spoon, you should be good to go with paper towels, hot water, and normal drying. And now for a really big monster mess. Here's my poor Mauvil. My wife cooked bacon in it two days ago, and it's been sitting on the stove ever since, awaiting the magic cleaning elf to come along and fix it. That's me. So what I'm gonna do for this monster mess is reheat the pan. I'm gonna get that grease hot and melted. I'm gonna deglaze the pan with hot water just as before, and this is gonna get rid of the majority of the sticky bits. Now what I have found with bacon is that even after all that, and wiping with paper towels and sponge, it still leaves some sort of weird bacon film on the bottom of the pan. A film that won't easily wash out. It's stuck on there, but it's not seasoning. So here's where I move up to the steel wool ball. With the pan under running hot water, I lightly go around the surface with the steel wool ball or the blue scrubby. And I keep applying light pressure and washing it under hot water until that film completely comes off. Then I wipe it with some paper towels, and if the paper towels look clean, I move to the drying stage. If not, just repeat the process until the paper towels come out clean. Then move to the drying stage. Now with all these methods, you'll notice that I never use soap. Now those methods clean up every mess I have ever made in my carbon steel pans. Just remember that it's not only important how you clean your pan, there are many ways to get them clean, but what's also important is how you dry it, how you put on that thin protective layer of oil, and how you maintain your seasoning. If you follow the recommendations in this video, your pan should be ready to go every time you want to use it. Now, if for some reason one of these methods doesn't work, what do you do? Easy. Go out to the garage, get your wife's belt sander, and just go to town.